A Russian missile barrage on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv late on Saturday has left 18 people injured, including four children, according to regional authorities. There were several strikes on the city of Kharkiv with guided bombs. One hit in front of a residential high-rise building. Currently, about 60 people have been evacuated from the area, Kharkiv Governor Ola Sinihubov said from the scene of the strike. Two people remain in critical condition, the regional military administration said in a statement. The strikes were carried out using Russian military aircraft delivering FAB-250 guided missiles that struck northern districts of the city proper as well as several locations in the surrounding suburbs. Two standalone houses outside the city limits caught fire but resulted in no injuries, the administration said. Scores of vehicles and other structures were damaged in the aftermath of the strikes as well, authorities added. Ми з внучкою одразу я в ванну заскочила, на в туалет, дітвору, в нас троє котів. Ну вже привикли, ховаємося ми туди, куди збіжиш. І тут оказався великий зрив. Звісно, були в ванниці, тому що одразу посипались вікна. У нас чотири кімнати на цю сторону і на ту. Тут посипалось вікна, все, паніка і все. Ну, тоді постукали нам поліція, прийшла, тут машина зірвалася, пожар був. Ну, я зараз вже успокоюся, можу говорити. Ну, я у дітей тут живу, а так виїхала я із Старого Салтова, там у нас були погроми, все. Угу. Так що я знаю, що це таке, якось держишся вже. Ну, тут, звісно, ну, що ви. Washington and London may give secret permission for Ukraine to fire Western long-range missiles at targets in Russia. This is reported in The Times. According to the publication, it is possible that the American and British sides will officially announce the permission granted to Kiev after the first missiles hit targets on Russian territory. It is noted that the US first wants to see Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky's plan for how the use of long-range weapons will help Ukraine survive the war in the winter. The article says that a final decision could be made at the UN General Assembly next week while there is nervousness in the team of current White House occupant Joe Biden that such a move could harm the election campaign of Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris.
According to journalists, the head of the British Foreign Office, David Lamy, met this week with US Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as well as colleagues from France, Germany and Italy, to prepare a decision on missiles before the upcoming session of the General Assembly. The publication's sources clarified that the meeting was intended to demonstrate that NATO allies were acting as a single entity and to refute assumptions that Washington and London were playing a dominant role in decision-making. Earlier, Dialogue.ua reported that the White House confirmed the planned meeting between Biden and Zelensky in the American capital. It will still take place on September the 26th. In addition, the Ukrainian leader will meet with Harris. Zelensky, in turn, announced the complete readiness of the plan for Ukraine's victory, which he will present at the upcoming meeting with his American counterpart. The head of state specified that this plan provides for a number of decisions from the Allies in the period from October to December. Kiev has long been calling on its partners to give the green light to strikes with Western long-range missiles against Russia. The media wrote that the Ukrainian side intends to attack enemy command centers, ammunition and fuel depots, and concentrations of Russian troops with such weapons.